day. Any fish. 18th of December, 2017. And, uh, I'm going to show you how to see how Satan works in this world and how he has constructed his little vain world here, okay? Now, I was talking about this cube, which in and of itself, again, we could spend months on the significance of this thing, okay? We haven't even touched on its dimensions, uh, all of those things that play in the hand. But what I pointed out in the video the other day was how it is turned askew. It's not lined up with the rest of the avenue. Satan Street there, you know. It's not lined up with it. That's, that's Satan Avenue right there. And the cube is turned at an angle. And I became curious about that. And sure enough, it, the arch is turned at an angle of 6.33 degrees. It couldn't be 5 degrees. It couldn't be 8 degrees. It had to be 6.33 degrees. And they give some lame excuse as to why that is. Well, you know, just how my mind works... Well, I got to figure out what the heck that means. Why, why 6.33 degrees? Now, this line here is parallel to Satan Street there with all the obelisks and pyramids and everything. And so I have to go 6.33 degrees off of that. And that's not this line here. It's a new line. I can't retrieve the degrees, so I have to, like, go in and kind of do it over in order to determine the degrees so you know what I end up doing is going from this is like 117 degrees or whatever 116 degrees so I go six degrees more than that which would bring me to like 122 123 degrees right so I drew a line one at that degree of angle and I was just very curious at where that would bring me. Uh, let's see. Got a lot. Of, that's it. Right there. And oddly enough, it leads us straight to where the Arch of Palmera was in Arona, Italy for months and months. That's where it leads us to. Straight to it. And that dimension is 367 miles, it says. We can, we, I can live with that, you know. But it's 646, 466 yards. I'm, I'm just going by what the map gives me. 1939, 399. You know, it's just very strange. And the fact that it runs at that 6.33 degrees right here is very strange as well. But it doesn't end there. Because if we continue at that heading, you're going to love this. Let me get a line here. We continue from that heading. Actually, let's start right at the cube, okay? I'm going to spend some time here. I'm waiting on something, so I got some time to to kill with you here we'll just follow that straight that same line okay let's get right down to the cube just in case this is a uh, critical we'll go all the way from the cube bear with me and we follow that same line we go right through arona see we're at 123 80 degrees or so right there see it and we continue Check this out. It goes pretty much through Florence where the arch was before. But, but, if we come down into Egypt and look at the degrees, exact same heading, exactly. And where does it bring us? It brings us to Karnak, Egypt, where the Luxor complex is. And that, my friends, is where the obelisk in Paris came from. 
You can't make this stuff up. And look at look at the miles. I mean, come on, 22, you can pretty much say 2288. This is just insanity. I'll even click it there. Let's see what we get in the other ones. Eh, nothing really. Let's see what we get in nautical miles. 1987 kilometers, 3681. But I'll tell you what. What do you think the chances of that line, the exact heading that that big giant satanic arch slash cube, whatever you want to call this thing is, I'd say those chances are pretty slim to none unless you're Satan and you've been building the world for thousands of years because that's what he's been doing through men, through deception, sin. That's bottom line, man. Money. And boy, oh boy, we could just... It's just nutbag crazy. That's one thing. Another thing I did was I followed the avenue there and I just continued off into Nether Netherland at that same exact heading. Nothing was in this whole area here until I got out towards Switzerland. The Alps. And that's this line right here, right? What's that? That would be that line right there, right from the cube to this area. What is this area? This purple line right here is the Gothard Tunnel. You remember that? I don't know how anyone could forget that. The ritual that not even the BBC could talk their way out of. I mean, that thing was off the hook. Luciferian satanic huge ritual just beyond measure and all the kings and queens and princes and prime ministers they were all there with their sacrificial lamb off the hook off the hook and i will link all this stuff the gothard tunnel the face tunnel 333 miles to why to that point though why to this point here where the ritual was held over here, which is nine miles from that point. And I can just show you. This is all significant. This is how Lucifer works. Look, right out to that point is... Go away. Is... Nine miles. You could even say 9.11 if you want. And why is that point important? Because that's the deepest point in the tunnel. You can get the coordinates from the wiki right here, and it brings you to the deepest point. And that's important because it's important. At the deepest point of that thing, let me find it again. Here it is. At the deepest point of this thing, check this out. Where is it? Where is it? I saw it. It's here. Come on now. Right here. It is 8. 1,888 feet deep. Really? I mean, come on. What was the measurement that we got from the pyramid in Paris here all the way to the cube? The whole length of Lucifer Lane there. You know what I'm saying? 8,888. That's what it was. I hope you remember that. That's that line right there that covers the entirety of Lucifer Avenue there. See that from the pyramid to the cube? Again, I, I just feel I need to show you that it's 8,888 yards equates to 5.1 miles, 26,666 feet, all of that stuff. 8888, the same exact depth that this whole giant avenue in Paris points perfectly at 333 miles away. This is significant, folks. This ritual was the dead giveaway, and that's what Satan does. He loves to just put it right in front of us and just leave us scratching our heads, and then he puts all the troubles of the world in front of us so we can't pay attention to this stuff anyway. You know what I'm saying? You can't make any of this up. Thing points exactly down to Egypt. 
through this arch that was super important. Remember, mountain of strength, mocking God again. And we can't forget CERN. I mean, see how this forms a three-dimensional pyramid? CERN is definitely in this game because I can't, I can't tell you how many times I got to say, you can't make this up, but you can't. This is CERN's 25-year gala anniversary this week. <laughs> and I've shown you their little demons and devils and executioners in the image they like to use here on every single page. Are you beginning to see what I'm showing you? I certainly hope so. Because once you understand this, then you hopefully come to understand that there is an opposite to all this dark evil those who do their works in the dark. You need to turn things upside down. Then you can see that Christ is the Savior. Period. End of discussion. No way around it. And we can go on and on, you guys. I mean, it's just sheer insanity. The dimensions here, they all are numbers. Just crazy, freaky numbers that I mean, I can share some of them with you. Let's see. If I, let's just pick one here. That one there from the Arona Arch Mountain of Strength to the Ritual Depths of Hell. It was 66 miles. Exactly. Let's see. We find it. I, I get, feel as though I, I have to show you these things. I'm sorry. 66.4 miles. Unbelievable. You want to see something really weird? You know how that line went all the way to Luxor? Well, you see this line right here? Watch this. This is uh, absolutely amazing. And it all ties together. If we continue this line, same heading. We just go from this. I don't know what I'm doing here. General little depth of hell area there. We come way out. We go straight down. And this is, if you look at the heading, I was right at 117 or so. Right around in there. Look where it brings us. Exactly. To the Temple Mount. You can not <laughs> make this stuff up. Almost perfectly exactly. And 1,742 miles away, add the 333 to the cube, and what does that give you? I think it gives you like 2,060-something. Uh, you can't make this up. You see, and this all started way, 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 way back. But you see this line right here? I want to show you something. This is the craziest thing. You know, it was 8888. You keep seeing the 8888. Well... I just took the 20th. We could take the 19th and it kind of works. It doesn't really matter because this date down here, you'll see what I mean. I just went 888888. 8, 8, 8, 8. That's all. And it brings me to February 17th, the year 1129. Well, guess what happened in 1129? You guessed it. The Knights Templar came officially into action in 1129. <laughs> There are no dates I can tie it to. So, and what was their big thing? Their big thing, their headquarters was the Temple Mount, right? And they were the, uh, Solomon. Let me see where I saw it here. Dookie, dookie, dookie. There's so much to this stuff. It's just, it's fascinating. Anyway, Solomon. Yeah, there you go. They are known as the Temple of Solomon and the Christ, whatever. And they're, their leader was the Pope. It was the Pope. Okay? So the Templars. And you know who Solomon actually brought in to build Solomon's temple? He brought in craftsmen and, and masons and all these uh, artisans from Syria. And you know where they built their famous, their most famous structure they built was the Temple of Ishtar. Yeah, you can't make this stuff up, you guys. You simply can't do it. It was the Temple of Ishtar. I'm not kidding you.
And I usually don't get too excited, man, but this is just crazy stuff. Look at this. It's called Ain Dara. It's also the Temple of Ishtar. And that line brings you exactly to the Temple Mount. Guess what that line is. Just guess. You can't. There's no way you can guess. I gotta find the line to show you. This is just nutbag crazy. Sorry. Bear with me. Hang on. I got it. It's coming. Hold on. Right here. That line. Look at this. Can't make it up. 336 miles. I mean, and I even overshot it a little bit. I'm calling it 333. That's what I'm calling it. But you can't, you just can't. Come on. Anybody wants to tell me that that is not intentionally done is absolutely out of their mind. And we can continue. We can follow this line. And guess where it leads us? Down into Egypt. You're looking at Satan's Etch-A-Sketch. Right here. This is like his little doodle board. This is where he sets up his little... The world is his uh, Ouija board. Like, these are all his little vanities and his little ritual sigil markings and landmarks and antennas and death arches. and You can call them whatever you want. But it's Satan. It's Lucifer. The prince of the air. How do you think he offered Jesus all of this? If he would bow to him. Because he could offer it. He is the ruler of the dark places, people. And he works through men. For thousands of years. And they are fixing to do something. Now. Because the things I'm seeing. That are coming together. Both biblically. And in this dark realm. They spell. Go time. That's the only way I know how to put it. There is something just bubbling, and we're just not seeing it in our blatant reality in this dimensional world. So, you know, I could sit here with you guys for quite a while and show you some pretty amazing stuff. Another thing, this line runs right straight across. It goes through the whole area in Turkey here, western Turkey, where the seven churches are, or were located as well as the uh, seed of Satan and the gates of hell, right? And they have officially said that they have discovered the gate of hell, right? But, but whatever. These lines, I mean, they run exactly through these places. Exactly. It's insane. And when they did this tunnel, I'm telling you, they right in the depths of this thing are where they have a connection of some sort to the underworld and that's a very central key point of their little uh, agenda I just know it and I show it and you can take it for what it's worth but I really really don't see how you can deny some of this stuff it's just blatant Lucifer's little chalkboard. And of course, nobody's salvation is contingent upon knowing these things. It's not like you have to know everything that Lucifer's doing to be saved, you know? It doesn't work that way. Just recognize that you live in a dark world that is just steeped in evil. It just is, but there's a way out. His name is Jesus. All these things I show you, there is a way out of all of it. That you can live in peace. You can live in security. I mean, it's abso absolutely obtainable through Christ. And that's really all there is to it. You can get into the study of how these people work and how they communicate and whatnot. They incorporate... Thelema, which is, uh, was really brought back to life. It's been around f since before Jesus. And all it truly is, is a way that they use magic and numbers and symbols and signs and all the stuff that they do. 
you know they they learn these things in order to manipulate humanity and essentially you know steal their treasure here and this is how they communicate and it was weird i was looking at this they don't just willy-nilly pick these numbers and their meanings i mean they're very meaningful and thought out and the very last one before 666 the very last one the beast <laughs> You get a kick out of this. The very last number, 567. If we go from the Gothard Tunnel ritual to the 20th of December, I picked the 20th because it's kind of neutral. It's right at the solstice. It's right at the end of Hanukkah. Uh, a lot of stuff going on here. 567 days. You know, you don't have to think that this stuff, this stuff is certainly not scripture. It's not. I'm just showing you how these dark principalities operate. That's all. Five, six, seven. And you need to understand what they're saying here. That to their world, to them, that is 506 and 61, which numbers represent the two halves of the occult equation. You need to read this. Look this up. Firstborn, the child or offspring of the mystical marriage and consummation of the two halves of the occult equation. The two becoming one. You get it? We've been through this hundreds and hundreds of times. I could just show you things forever. I actually insist on doing this. I have to. It's my job. And uh, this is how they work. And they are up to something. There's no question about it. There is something brewing. They are in the midst of a very powerful ritual. All of this lands right in the midst of good old Saturnalia. You can't dismiss this stuff. So, you know, I just share it with you. I hope you're blessed by it. I wish you nothing but peace, grace, serenity, all of it. All achievable through Christ Jesus. Seek him today, humbly. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 